I've come from a great father, but an unsupportive mother. The earth shook on my fourth birthday, leaving a perfect scar on my nose. I was an energetic boy, always motivated to my dreams. Nature helped me through my loneliness. It gave me happiness from what little friends I had. I'm black and white. Music was interesting. It used to be my passion. I practiced day and night, honing my skills. I've gotten good at it somewhat. I played piano for over a decade, never regretting a single second of it. But photography slowly crept in. When I saw the Golden Gate, I knew I had to capture the beauty of it, black and white. The Yosemite Sierra was glorious and made it seem like I was in heaven. With all the astonishing plants and lights, that's when it hit me. I opened up the Sierra Club and became an environmentalist. I will protect the beauty of Yosemite until the last of my life. Humans resent nature. The exemption of plants, natural beauty makes the plants everlasting and perfect. The bright and vivid colors and the perfectly shaped landscape. It was also beautiful and something I would like to capture. The smell of the landscape made my vision clear, black and white. Nature without color is like a city of absence light. The world seems smaller through the darkened night. The black and white colors contrast the other through the dark. Like two contrary forces, yin and yang, black and white. Yosemite, oh how it fills me with pity. The landscape even competes with the golden city with the Golden Gate in sight, all throughout Alcatraz. The freedom of Yosemite can cure even a grievance to soul. The entire geography of Yosemite, the cliffs, the rivers, the forest, makes Yosemite as calm, as plain, as meditating in silence. Black and white. Lying on my bed, on my deathbed, dreaming about the stars, dreaming about the truth of nature and all of its wondrous beauty. Cardiovascular disease. It pains me to leave this world. On April 22nd, 1984, Yosemite guides me to the afterlife. Everything is turning black and white.